Hi guys, Lavika here. Hello. Um, I have a little surprise thingy today. Um, I am going to be making a uh, mini travel. What I call it? I've been wanting to make this for um, quite a while and was looking around for tin boxes and stuff and then I actually realized I had it I had this tin box at home. <laughs> uh, it's been scratched up, banged up, stained, had a life already so it's perfect. <laughs> and it's really simple and you know doesn't say a lot but I like it. So I also had some half pans, empty half pans from when I made my big watercolor set. I had some leftovers. And then for Christmas I bought this um, watercolor pen that I uh, introduced in my little haul video. And it's the perfect size. So. <laughs> It fits right in there and naturally you save it without water when you travel around so you need to have water with you or access to water or something to, to use it but you know seeing how small it is that's a sacrifice I can live with <laughs> so today I'm going to make this little watercolor palette um, and actually it's not going to be finished today because the colors need to dry. <laughs> so I have the tin box, I'm going to put it over here, I have the watercolor brush over there, and I have the empty half pans, and then I have my watercolors. And these are the Van Gogh watercolors. Um, it's pretty it's a pretty cheap brand, student quality. Uh, but it's the ones that I use for all my watercolor paintings right now and I really like them and I have learned a lot for them. So if you're new to watercolors and you want some cheap colors that are pretty good quality still, I highly recommend these because they're very affordable. Um, so you won't you know, kill yourself if you end up not doing watercolors that much. I am now invested fully <laughs> into watercolors and looking into um, getting some new ones eventually when I can afford it um, hopefully this year I really really want to get into making my very very own watercolors with um, pigments and arabica and uh, you know white from scratch mix them up myself and stuff like that <laughs> Um, but hopefully I'll be able to do that this year, we hope. <laughs> so now I got you some colors because I don't have room for a full palette. I have room for 12 colors in these half pants. Um, so let's see. Let's see what we got. Whew. So, how is everyone? <laughs> no little random here. Okay, so I'm thinking that I definitely want paint grey. I love paint grey. Um, and I'm thinking that I want an earthy theme for this watercolor set something that is easy to use for pretty much everything so some base colors and some earth colors I have this Naples yellow that is a really nice uh, fresh skin tone basic skin tone that I use a lot I have um, English red maybe I'm not sure. Let's see. I have burnt umber. I want burnt umber, burnt sienna, and raw sienna. Uh, 
them. Let's see. Now let's put them up here. Those are the chosen ones that I know I want. <laughs> I really, really like my indigo, so I might choose that as well. Then dark brown is another maybe. We need some basic color, so let's see how we're going to do this. Um, yellow ochre is a definite not. So I need a yellow base color, and I have these two. The Gamboge and the Acel Yellow Light and I kind of want both because this is really nice as well. <laughs> this is going to be so tricky. So then we need this was a maybe and this was a maybe we need we don't necessarily need a green, so we'll see about that. I need a blue, and I have ultramarine deep and cobalt blue, so I'm going to choose cobalt blue. That's a nice base color. Use it for sky and mix it up for some earth tones as well. I'm going to need a red. And... I think I'm going to choose a permanent red. Yeah, a permanent red. It's a nice color. Trying to open one of these is a little bit difficult. Um, I really like this color as well. I don't need orange because I pretty much already have that. I can easily mix that, so I don't need raw orange. The only thing that this is a really nice earthy tone still if I need some freshness. So I don't know. Purple, don't need that. These two don't really need those either. Let's see, we got six up here, so I need to find six other colours. I think I'm going to choose. that yellow and boop, 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 boop. I don't really need this but it's a nice one but if I use this one with a bit of red in it I actually get something really close to this color so this green is really really nice and earthy so I really love that And boop, boop, boop. I think should I do an indigo? I think I'll do an indigo. There we go. There we have our colors. Woohoo! <laughs> very nice so it's really simple um i'm going to glue these down in here so they don't move around when i'm traveling since it's travel set um but i want some watercolor paper as the bottom so i can do tiny swatches next to the Time swatches next to each color so I can see exactly what the color is. Because this one is going to be my mixing tray, so I don't want paper on this one. 
I'm going to take a sheet of my watercolor paper. Give myself a bit of room. And then I am just going to place, let's see what's easiest. Place the lid on here. And move it out to the edges. You can hear my guinea pigs. <laughs> they are arguing over a carrot, I think. Always good. <laughs> I'm gonna just take my pencil and trace. Yeah, let me. There we go. Then we are going to cut that. You could just buy um, dry watercolor pigments in half or whole pans already. That's an option too. So it's very snogging now, it's a little bit big. Just going to push it in there. I don't want it to move around, so it's okay. That's a little bit big. So, got paper in there. I'm just using super glue, nothing special. And then I'm going to fill up the health pans before I glue them in. I think uh, it's probably easier to just glue them in right away after they've just. I don't want to move them around when they are wet. Now, if you do a metal pan thingy, you can actually settle them all with magnets instead. Now I just have to decide on where to put the different colors. I think I'm going to keep it like that, something like that. Five, six. Mm. And like that. That seems to be rather nice looking. They could, in, in fact, be placed anywhere you want, but if you are a, a um, an artist, you're probably the same way like me, you like them being, being in specific orders. <laughs> um, not sure, yeah, it has to be this way. No, I want the lighter gold on that. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm going to do it like this. Yeah, that's better. So, now I'm just going to fill in the colors in each hat pan and see if I can open all of these. <laughs>
then I'm going to take these plastic toothpicks and I'm just going to make sure that all the colors are in the pans so I like you know avoiding too many air bubbles and sticking up funny one of my colors um, the burnt ombre is a little bit funky so I just like making sure it's fully mixed in the pan before it gets to stir. so with the other end of the toothpick I'm leaving a little bit tiny little bit dot of the color down here on the paper this color has such a weird consistency until I mix it up so I'm not sure if there is a I don't know if it's very old or what's up with that if I mix it up there is no issues and it gets all smooth and nice like the other colors so. um, the uh, raw sienna does it a little bit too it kinda, I don't know if you can see it but it kinda clumps up a little bit it's like mashed potatoes when it's not all mashed up <laughs> I don't know how to you know describe it it's just kind of a little bit weird and all the other colors are super silky and smooth and nice so there we go we got swatches for all the colors so what I'm going to do now is take some clean water and brush and then swish the color and just let the color flow out and show you know That indigo is so beautiful, just like that. Oh no, I did bad. I did bad, bad, bad. Contaminated my color, the brush wasn't completely clean. <laughs> I was a bit too fast. So, there we go. I really like having the earth tones and then just, you know, a few basic, very, very vibrant colors to mix in with the earth tones. It leaves you a lot of room for mixing uh, a lot of different colors uh, when you paint can mix pretty much any color you want. I like to use the paint gray instead of black a lot. I don't I <laughs> I barely ever use pure black paint in any of my pieces. I use um, if I do line art I can use pure black but when we're talking shading, painting, stuff like that, I do not like pure black. It's just a dead color. Same with pure white. Um, for watercolors, you tend to use the white of the paper. I like that white because it's textured. It's never completely pure acid white. So the paint gray is beautiful for shading together with the indigo and the um, 
burnt umber that makes some awesome dark shading tones. So. Here we go. Let me zoom in for you guys. Now this just needs to dry up and it needs to dry for two to three days. Uh, to make sure that all the pans are completely dry, I let it sit for about a week actually. Uh, that's what I did with my big watercolor palette. So I think I'm going to let this sit for a day as well. So, what I'm going to do is take some um, something to cover the wheel, but it needs to be able to breathe. But I want to put something over it like paper. I'm probably going to do some paper fold and make sure that I don't get too much dust in my paint but when we are when it's all dry and ready I will make a little painting of this palette so we can see how the colors mix and match based on yeah based on what I have chosen we'll see if I make some good choices or not <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really really happy and I am so pleased that I actually kind of found everything I needed for this at home so I didn't have to go spend money I don't have. <laughs> um, and this is so cute! I absolutely adore it! And this just fits in perfectly in the middle here. And then when I go travel... Bags. and I'm going to use this as a mixing tray so I'm going to make sure it's all clean um, and then I can dab on colors as I need on the go and mix whatever I need so isn't this just the cutest <laughs> so I will show you guys some artwork with these paints when they are completely dry. So until next time, bye bye. <laughs>